show. What's up, Storm Chasers? We back. We have to come and get into this whole Christian Combs thing. All right. He was allegedly aggressively R wording women, trying to be just like his daddy is bad enough. He looked like his daddy is bad enough that he had no personality of his own, really. Uh, to be honest, really didn't achieve nothing of his own or wasn't even really trying to. He was just trying to be another Diddy, another daddy. But, you know, he was born in the wrong generation. And so, you know, he really didn't get nowhere. It didn't go nowhere with it. And ultimately, his mama wouldn't even really approve of this shit if we going to keep it real and be honest. OK, so I got a little tea on that. And then, of course, we got to talk about uh, Stevie J and why he's defending daddy, a.k.a. Diddy. So much, but he didn't go that hard for Mimi. He didn't go that hard for Eve. He didn't go that hard for Jocelyn. He didn't go that hard for Faith Evans. I'm just trying to understand what's really going on, all right? All right, can y'all hear me? Y'all hear me? We finna get right on into it. Let me go ahead and share the screen. Let's share the screen. And we're going to first actually get into Stevie J real quick. All right. Stevie J did an interview with TMZ where he was defending Diddy, a.k.a. Daddy, a.k.a. his man, a.k.a. his lover, a.k.a. his day one, a.k.a. his best friend. All right. He doing more for Diddy than he ever did for any woman that laid down and spread it wide and had children for this nigga. A whole brood of wide nosed and rat faced ass children and, 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 and nothing for those women. He didn't stick up for those women at all. He let them get slutted out, go back to the pole, get their ass whooped, get all kinds of uh, sexually transmitted uh, demons in their body and the like. Only for him to be sticking up for daddy, 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 daddy like this. Huh? Why he didn't stick up for his own bitches like this? Why he didn't stick up for his own kids like this? But he's sticking up for daddy, 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 daddy. What's so special about daddy that 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 Eve didn't have, that Whoopi Goldberg daughter didn't have, that Mimi didn't have, that Johnson didn't have? And y'all was doing all kinds of coca lina together. You know, I felt like every scene you had on Love and Hip Hop, that nose kept spreading wide and wide, and them eyes kept getting yellower and yellower and them lips kept getting blacker and blacker so i'm just trying to figure it out all right one thing i do notice about stevie j too you know he definitely has a mother wound you know we already know that he was primarily raised by his father so yeah i gotta be careful of men like this but i will say this he definitely loves a dominant ass woman don't he eve looked like she could whoop a nigga ass i don't know what whoopie goldberg daughter what she was on you know because they was engaged uh jocelyn was definitely uh whooping uh females and niggas and then we know faith evans whoop ass and she even beat his ass and black his eye so he loved a dominant woman that whoops his ass um but he don't stick up for him and he don't be there for him and he you know i'm just I, it, it's weird everybody's saying he on them tapes he on them tape. he might be on them tapes so he said let me stick by daddy but you're gonna get exposed no matter what y'all might as well just come out and say that y'all buy we know how the industry get down 90 percent of y'all is bisexual i don't know why none of y'all is acting surprised y'all all really fluid to be quite honest shit Anyway, let's see what he had to say about daddy. Most of the mommy, of course, you guys. Yeah, that. yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, 50 um, has been going after Diddy and everybody associated with him for months now, ever since the Cassie lawsuit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, you can't brush under the rug. I, I don't see anybody um, um, reporting about what um, Tatted Up Holly said about him beating her up and about, you know what I'm saying, his other baby mom saying beating her up. I just look at it as, you know, he wants to bring the black community down worse than anyone else. How, how is that so? I said what I said on my post and I'm standing on that too. Now, since he didn't accept what my offer to him and he want to continue to be a comedian, why don't you go make some movies with Michael Blackson and don't talk about me? Okay. If you don't want to fight, if you don't want to donate to- Why would he want to fight you though? Why would 50 waste his time fighting you, Stevie J? Why would he even even entertain it? Why would he even do a charity fight for you? He can just go donate to charity himself. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm not seeing where the dig is at because he's saying go make some movies with Michael Blackson. Go, you know, go. What you mean? Go out and be successful. Go out and be an A-lister. Fifty is building G Unit Studios. What the fuck is Stevie J ever built? He been Diddy's producer for thirty five years and still couldn't pay his child support until Mona gave him a little piece of a fucking check that he snorted up his goddamn nose. I'm trying to figure it out. Now I'm not saying Fifty Perfect 
And 50 is petty as hell, but shit, he's a male cancer. All them niggas is petty. We know that. They either going to cry or they're going to be petty. It is what it is. We all know Jocelyn took the, the, the lie detector test and said that you like gay porn. It is what it is. To be quite honest, nobody pays attention to Stevie J unless it's something about Jocelyn, something about Mimi, something about Faith, and now something about Daddy, a.k.a. Diddy. Stevie J been producing Diddy's Daddy. I'm sorry, call him Daddy. That's what you call him. Stevie J been producing Daddy's stolen beats for 35 years, and the only time you get a TMZ interview is, of course, to talk about 50. You don't see how crazy this make you look? Happy birthday, Morgan. Do you really think, do you really think you look like the man in this case because you threatening to whoop his ass and we didn't see you get your ass beat on TV for 15 years? Lil Scrappy was working on you so hard you had to go full Mike Tyson and try to bite the nigga ear off. So what are we talking about? Remember when Faith Devils blacked your eye and you went and got her whole face tattooed on your fucking ribs? You can't even beat up Faith. You couldn't even beat up Jocelyn. Mimi would choke the shit out of you. Who have you beat up in life? Because the only thing you beat up is pussy. And bussy. No, I'm just saying. Now that he can tear to shreds. And I don't think 50 won't know. So it is what it is. But Stevie J said, that's my man, my man, my man, my man. And I'm sticking by. <laughs> 50 said they paying attention to your rat face ass. Anyway, speaking of funny faces, because these is all some funny looking motherfuckers. We got to get into talking about Christian Combs. This is the son of Diddy. And Kim Porter, may she rest in peace. I'm not calling him King Kong. Or King, King Kong. I'm not calling <laughs> Dr. Umar. I'm not calling him King Kongs because he ain't king of shit. What has he done to be called King Kongs? Why did y'all even let him call himself that? If anything, the daddy could be called that. But why is the son running around calling himself king of anything? They love calling themselves king without no fucking kingdom. You mean the, the kingdom that your daddy built that was built off of lies and death and murder and destruction and raping and, and is now falling apart? I don't even think his middle name, King. No, uh-uh. We finna pull it up. Because Justin is Justin Dior Combs, and he need to go to the grave to see about his real daddy. So let's see. Christian Combs' real name. Let's see. Hell no. This nigga's name is Christian Casey Combs. Nigga, you supposed to be a straight A student with that kind of name. Who this nigga think he is to be one around calling himself King? It ain't, it ain't earned shit. King is his rap name. You haven't even, you're not even a good rapper. Your lyrics is rapping, whacking, so is the dance moves. What has he done? Besides flex an eight-pack in the mirror, and he was born thin. You didn't even work for your body. What are we talking about? I'm not hating, I'm just saying. Everything has come to you easy. Your name, your money, your status, your prestige, these hoes that you fuck. You didn't even work for your eight pack. You were born with that. You tall and lanky, just like Kim. What are we talking about? You don't act. You're not on the radio. Is you in school? See, here's the thing with these celebrities and their kids. They supposed to have their black asses in school. But instead of having a black ass as a school or at somebody's job, that you're supposed to at least be around your daddy, be an assistant for your daddy. 
But instead of doing that, you in your daddy house at 2 p.m. on a Wednesday, smoking way sweet, smoking weed and drinking, screwing groupies, and we supposed to feel sorry when the homeland security pull you little niggas out and put cuffs on you. You ain't even supposed to be there, bitch. You're supposed to be at work. Listen, I'm all here for nepotism. To be seriously, I'm just talking shit. I'm all here for nepotism. But I'm just saying, what? what yeah. These celebrity kids be having a parent, these parents that have achieved so much and they grow up to achieve so little. For as many people's ass that your daddy didn't have his foot in, his tongue in, and his dick in, you would think that y'all would have a little bit, a little more work ethic. Maybe that's why he keep having kids. He figured he's trying to get one that can actually take over the fucking empire. Now the empire gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's too late. It's done. But damn. Damn. And stop putting that half-breed ass baby on the fucking Instagram. We don't care. We know what y'all did, and you're gonna go down for it. And not a half-breed baby is gonna make us fucking forget. Shout out to Love Combs. Now you got mad I said half-breed, or is you mad that they around here raping motherfuckers allegedly? Which one? Shout out to my half-breed. Shout out to my mixed people. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So back to this. Trying to be his daddy, a la 1995. Lord have mercy. All right. And where did he get that nose from? That's interesting to me. How, like, sometimes your features come out exaggerated on your kids. Where did he get that nose? No shit. Where did he get that nose from? Because Kim ain't got no nose like that. And really, Diddy don't either. Why does his nose look so swollen? Or did Diddy have a nose job back in the day? I know many women behind Diddy didn't have nose jobs after he didn't broke their face. Oh, Kim had a nose job. Oh, Oh, wow. I didn't know. See, I'm saying Kim had a nose job. See, I didn't know that. I feel like Kim didn't have no nose that looked like that. No, no, she didn't have no nose job until Diddy uh, broke her nose. Ike Turner style. I don't know. I don't know where that nose came from. I guess them jeans skipped and did the diddy bop on his face. Anyway, so it said Christian Combs is reportedly being named in the Lumi lawsuit that accuses the rap star of sexually assaulting and drugging a woman. The lawsuit against Combs, the son of embattled rap mogul Sean Diddy Combs, has yet to be officially filed, but is currently in the works, according to attorney Tyrone Blackburn. Now, how many somebody else had a case and used Tyrone Blackburn as the attorney? Boy, y'all niggas, y'all trying to make a name for yourself, so I can't even hate now. With anyway, the identity of Combs' alleged victim is yet to be revealed. And details surrounding the reported lawsuit or sparse. Well, I got some tea, all right, from a very close source that told me, all right. Now they don't want to be named, but I'm gonna tell you what happened. Y'all want to hear what happened when she hung out with the Combs boys? This is Christian and Justin. I'm not sure if Quincy was around. Now I haven't heard about uh, Quincy raping nobody. I gotta keep it real. I heard about them having a little femboy twink on the side but not him raping anybody so maybe we in a clear when it comes to uh quincy all right so what had happened listen just between me and you she went to hang out with the combs boys because a lot of times they have these after parties and they'll get a little tour van sprinter van or whatever said to a van sprinter van and invite hoes on and they go hang out party smoke drink whatever at the end now according to this anonymous source but it happened to her she went to go party with the boys right 
and she ended up going to a mansion. I don't know which house it was because, you know, they have multiple. But it was in L.A. This happened in the L.A. area. And um, she went to the party and she took a sip of her first drink and she woke up the next day. She does not remember anything else. You understand? No, no, not Love Jones. Love Jones hung out with them too, but I'll let her tell her story on her show. By the way, she needs to release that footage and she needs to do that video too. Anyway, this girl I'm talking about that actually party with the Cones boys. Got on the van, went to the house, took the first drink, and that's all she remembers. She woke up the next morning. Her clothes were off. She had bruises and scratches all over her. And you can you can imagine in your head what was going on with the coochie area. As far as I know, her anus was not tampered with. But God knows what happened, what they did, what's on tape. Who knows? Who knows? But all she remembers is hanging out, being on the Sprinter van, getting to the house. And that was it. She remembers the first drink, but that was it. She woke up the next day. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Okay. So there's a lot going on when it comes to the Cones boys. Okay. Which boy she was hanging out with Christian and Justin. I have not heard anything about Quincy. I have not heard anything about Quincy raping nobody. Um, blah, 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 blah. While Combs has yet to address the allegations directly, he recently shared a post on social media that read Stop the Cat, uh, although he didn't give context on what he was referring to. Of course, he's going to deny it. He's not really going to um, own up to it, all right? Let me tell you something else. Let me give y'all some moti about this nigga here. Still trying to figure out where that nose came from. Is that his daddy's nose? Anyway, that ain't important. So, hold up. Let me get some moti. So, they say when it comes to Christian, this is a rude-ass nigga. Like, he's rude to sex workers. He's rude to the, well, strippers are sex workers, but he's rude to the escorts. He's rude to the strippers. He's rude to the staff. Nobody wants to deal with him. He can't stand on his own two feet. Anytime he has to go complain about something or about somebody, he goes and grabs his daddy and have them. He has him to do the confrontation. He's right behind Diddy with everything. Pause. No Diddy. But the streets is telling me that it's incredibly difficult to serve him. Shout out to Lodo. It's incredibly difficult to serve him. I have not heard that about Justin. I have not heard that about Quincy. But I've heard that Christian is a fucking menace. Down to the waitresses don't even want to serve this fool. They say that when he talking to hoes, he ain't really got no game to spit except for he is who he is. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Okay. And so I wonder how much of that is who he is as a person and how much of that is just him emulating his dad. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. It, it's probably difficult for him because he looks so much like his father in his whole life. He's heard you look just like your dad. You're going to be just like your dad. And so he... Maybe he feels he has no other choice but to literally emulate his father. But I wish he would go to work. He's just, you know, allegedly beating and raping hoes. Like, go, your daddy also worked, too. Go to work. <laughs> Start a business. Go to school. Is he like a uh, king? Oh, like T.I., uh, like Tips and, and Tiny's King. I mean, he ain't trying to go in the hood, though. I haven't heard that he wants to hang out in the hood. I just heard that he's mean as a motherfucker.
But see, you have people that are naturally mean, naturally arrogant, and then you have people that are trying to put on a front. And when you're putting on a front, you go over fucking board. So do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Some people, you know, that's just a rude motherfucker. And then some people, you like, nah, bitch, you're doing too fucking much. But I ain't heard about him trying to go to the hood. I have not heard of that. And I know I don't think he's, I don't think he's going to make it in prison either. Raised that way, most likely. Maybe. 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 Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So any comments? All right. Stevie J. Want to fight 50 Cent? 50 Cent's not paying him no mind. 50 Cent is doing all this for daddy, a.k.a. Diddy. Um, and Christian Combs allegedly R-worded a woman. And uh, like I said, according to my source, homegirl went to the party. And that's the last thing she remembers. She woke up the next day. Clothes was not on her. Bruises all over her body. Um, yeah. Yeah, did, yeah, yeah, Diddy got to be working overtime. I can't even lie. I can't even lie. Love Jones said he wasn't mean to me. Oh, well, well, I tell you what, you still need to do your video. I was saying this too. You need to do a video. First, I will re first I'll release that footage in just its own video with no commentary, then come back and give commentary to the video. Oh, yes. Love Jones said, I'm grateful I made it home safely. Yeah, well, yeah. But I think with any predator, they know who to try and who not. I still think some people just some people just look vulnerable, and then sometimes you be like, "Oh shit, <laughs> I thought you was a weak bitch, and you not." You know what I'm saying? Some people you be thinking, "Oh, you know," and then they be more street smart than you, and then some motherfuckers they just know will do anything to get on. It's it, it, it's a lot. It's a lot dealing with these predators, dealing with people that feel like they're entitled to your body simply because of who they are. And Christian Combs ain't nobody. But a nut that made it, that's it. And if this is what he was going to do, he would have been better off being swallowed. Or put up the ass. We know his daddy liked to put it up the ass. Uh, let's see. You love that water? Oh, that water's fire. This water's fire. Can't even hold you. What about that footage of Diddy meeting with Justin? Oh, yeah, we're going to have to come back and get into that. Or actually, we could probably get into that now. Hold up, yeah. Let me check some real quick. Oh, let's see. Do, 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 do. What you mean? Do, 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 do. Okay. Okay, all right. Hold up. Let me let me let me pull it up real quick. Real quick. Y'all hold on there for me. Hold up. Um, let's go to the TikTok. And let's Yeah, shut that bullshit off. Okay, there we go. All right, Diddy, Justin Bieber. All right. Look at this here. Yo, this is some sick shit, man. Pat him down. Make sure he ain't wearing no wire. It looks like Diddy is asking him if he has a wire. Justin says no. Did Diddy check? Look how ratty Justin Bieber look, and he about to so lose his shit, wife. Man. Justin Bieber is self depressed as hell, about to lose his wife Haley Baldwin. Don't even want to be with him no more on a yacht with other white hoes, with other white billionaires and millionaires, because she's sick of being with this. She's sick of dealing with him and his depression because he got his asshole stretched as a child and never got help for it. They ran through Justin Bieber like a little hole. Look, look at him. Looking a hot mess. Looking like something that sell you myth behind a 7-Eleven. He really turned out to be a strangler, scraggler looking motherfucker. And this is who they wanted y'all to model y'all white children, at, you know, for all my white fans. 
all 10 of y'all. This is who they wanted y'all to model y'all white children after. Had them looking like a male uh, Ellen DeGeneres, and she looked like a man of goddamn self. Can't perform, can't eat, can't sleep. Then Usher was talking about, I don't know why Justin canceled on me because you gave him up to get that booty hole stretch. I wouldn't want to dance with you either, Usher, just because you like your booty hole stretched on me. I wanted my booty hole stretched. Like, good Lord, they didn't even hardly let Justin Bieber hit puberty before they started stretching that ass. Breaking the sphincter. Putting them in a 48-hour, what, what, 48 hour, 48 hours of anal training with Diddy? Because that's the only kind of training you get with him. He looks drained. He looks traumatized. He looks strung out. He looks depressed. He looks emasculated. He looks like he has no hope. And is going to spend the rest of his days with the money he's made numbing himself. This industry will truly chew you up and spit your ass out. Such a shame. Hell, I'd be petrified too if he stretched my ass. Um. Anyway... When did that pat down take place? That was just a few days ago. That was just a few days ago. All right, any other comments? He can't even look it. That's what I'm saying. It's hard to look your predator in the eye. Hey, if you're on high on drugs, pain, you don't really feel it. I, I listen. I get it. Give him some grace. I am. I'm not going too hard on him. He'll be all right. He needs to speak out, too. It's time for everybody to speak out. Stop being so fucking scary. Letting other people behind you go through this shit, too. Yeah. Auto me. Yeah. So, yeah, between, between being sodomized as a child, everybody using, uh, using the hell out of them, Everybody was touching on him inappropriately. Men, women, all everybody. Just, he was just he he low key was just an industry pin cushion. Then his face started doing the electric slide and doing the fucking hokey pokey. He lost the real love of his life, Selena Gomez, because that's really who he should have been with. He got an autoimmune disease. She got an autoimmune disease. They could have been over there swollen and faces doing the hokey pokey together. Getting their steroid treatments together, going to the doctors together. Instead, he dumped her to be with, 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 with Haley, who's now dumping him for a man that ain't around here leaking from behind, leaking from the rectum every time he shit and ain't got all that fucking trauma. Time about she need a break. Ain't been married, ain't been married but a little bit. Time about she need a break. You married that bottom, you deal with it. Anyway. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. <laughs> um, any other comments before we go? They probably didn't clone Kate. They probably didn't clone her. They probably have. Thank y'all for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe, share if you care. I will catch you all later. Uh, it's Storm Show.